Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can create a custom quiz where we can do this with WordPress. So let's take it into it. Let's jump right in the theme. So first of all, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so that you be getting a few rewards just by signing up. Once you clicked into the sign up section, you want to create your first account and choose a domain. In my case, I'm going to be choosing something like this. And here we have different recommendations. I just want to look for the free version because I don't want to pay actually for anything. I don't want to look for any plan so far right now. But if you are using any specific plan, either there will be a personal premium or business account, that will be really, really, really easy to, uh, let's say, to just deal with all the features that WordPress has to deal with us. So once again, um, uh, what do I have here? What are my goals in order to create my store? What I want to do is to create, just write and publish, search for a category. Let's say that I want to create some block section. Here I have some video blocks. Here need to continue. Blog name, for example, this is a blog for, let's say this is my store or my channel, let's say video games, here to continue. Now, nice job, now it's time to create creative, draft your first post, watch blogging videos, or choose a design. So what you want to do is to choose a design. Here is gonna be showing us a lot of templates. I don't wanna focus a lot in here, I just want to choose something that can be useful for me at the moment. In my case, I do want to look for the second option. Now I'm going to go and head up with the section, I think it's really working for me. Hit into continue and the layers should be added automatically. Now there is different ways that we can ask, uh, add a pop quiz. So what I'm going to do here is to start writing here. So I do have different versions like my first post quiz about something of my life, something like that. Here I'm going to tap into the enter button and here I do have different options that I can choose the typography, the dimensions and the advanced sections. What I want to do is to change the post, the kind of post, but I don't want to mess around here a lot. I actually want to show you another way that we can do this kind of quiz like very, very easy, which that would be adding a new block. So if I get into this, this plus button, I'm going to tap quiz. And here I do have this section which says quiz. Now quiz and bit paste a link to the quiz you want to this place on your site. So if you don't have any quiz, notice this one that says create a new quiz. And this one is gonna be popping up the crowd section of the support actually, so we can create a new quiz. So what we want to do here is to scroll all our way up and go into how to create a quiz. What we want to do is to go into logged in and I want to go into approve. And now what I want to do is to verify my email in order to continue. So what I'm going to be doing here is to verify this just really, really quick. And after the verification has been processed correctly, it's going to be really, really easy just to reload this page and see if we're not able to enter into the crowd signal. Now here what I want to do is to create a survey. As you can see, I have signals, um, let's say left, I, I, do, I do have 2,500. This one refers to each question, poll, form, or rating that I created. So if I have one question, I have one sign less, and so on and on. So I'm gonna go into create my survey. So. In here it says, welcome to the editor window, choose your first survey element from the left column, simply drag and drop. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. What I want to choose here is say the personality quiz, right? So I can go into the free text or choose multiple choice. So I just want to drag this free text and hit for what is your favorite, favor, favorite color. And then you want to, uh, what, you want. what I want to do here is just to leave it like that. And here I do have a free text so people can, can pen put the free favorite color. And then I want to choose single line, multi-line, passcode. Question settings, if you want to include a note, you can do that. Or the question is mandatory. Every question in my case, I do want to input that is mandatory. 
So then I want to go for multiple choice. How did you um, learn, let's say, about video editor, video editing? And here I have option number one. I studied online. Option number two, I'm going to hit something like I went to a college. Another one, I do not know how to edit videos like this. So there are different options that I can in input here. I want to choose save and then I want to use the metrics. So here in my columns, I'm going to choose one, two, three, uh, four, for example, five, six. I'm going to move this a little seven. I'm pretty sure you saw some kind of polls, quizzes into different sites. So I'm going to choose this option, hit into 10. And here into my rows, uh, let's say I'm going to choose having a software. And then what I want to choose is go into the save button. Then we do have the ranks. If I choose the rank option, enter your one question here. Let's say that I want to choose something like order. Uh, from the most important to less important this next, this next uh, tasks. So for example, I do have here the video, let's say preview. I'm going to be choosing rank number two. I, I could just move things like really, really easy. What I'm going to be choosing here, let's say for example, just review files. This is University of Language is a video editor. I'm going to hit into dot, and here I have one to five. I'm going to hit into save. So once we do have everything here successfully done, what I want to choose here is to input a phone number. So enter your phone number question here. Change the country phone number. So please provide us your phone number. Hit into enter and hit into save. So once I do have that successfully done, what I want to do is to go and scroll all my way up until I want to go into the show option. So if I go into the style now, what's going to happen here is that my theme is going to be showing me how it's going to be looking my own quest. So I want to choose something like, for example, material or 2020 or even the 2021. I do want to just focus in here because it, for me, it looks really, really great. And I'm going to go into the settings. Here are a few restrictions if I want to enable one of those. I'm going to go into save and here into the results is going to be appearing the report of all the personality quiz that I just created here. So once I do have everything successfully done, I'm going to go into share, go into the copy to the clipboard, or I can just view it if I want to see how this, this looks. There we go. So lastly, I want to go into my post. I want to paste the link to the quiz hit into embeamed. So instead of just copy and paste using embeamed, what's going to happen is that people don't have to actually get out of the website in order to make this quiz. So they can do this quiz inside our website. So it's going to be much more easier and much trusted. So as you can see, here's the questions that I've created so far. So I think that what I just need to do is to edit the size. So I'm going to be choosing wide, for example, like this, or even choose the full width. So it's going to be looking like this. So there you have it, guys. My first pop quiz question about something on my life. I just need to delete this and leave it just like this. Here we go. Here is the pep quiz. So I just need to change that if I wanted to, because I actually didn't input any kind of uh, question here, but that's uh, absolutely anything we just need to do in order to start making a quiz. So you hit into publish publish and I'm going to go into view my post or copy the link and see this as a reader and boom we're good to go this is actually working I'm just going to fill my information and I am good to go so there you have it guys actually it wasn't that hard don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this video was really really useful for you there's so much other ways to do this but this is like the most easiest way free version and without having to even pay for anything with We've done this like really, really quick without any kind of tools. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.